Good night, Matos. Thanks again for tuning in to yet another video of Infamous here coming at you from San Jose, California. I uh, just wanted to kind of revisit a video of mine where I review the Speed Bandit. And maybe, you know, looking back at that video, maybe I was a little bit too harsh. Um, and I was kind of basing that helmet and comparing that helmet to a helmet that isn't really in the same category. It's not that old school MX minimal uh, style of helmet. I was comparing. I was comparing it a little bit to the HJC, a little bit. And these helmets are just not known for that kind of stuff. They're not known for functional vents, kind of like the uh, the Rurock Atlas helmet as well. And you know what? I, I was just kind of thinking to myself, you know what? All these helmets have that general style, that that old school minimal style, and and I kind of figured, you know what? If you're looking at one of these helmets, you're not really looking for comfort or... I guess you are looking for a little bit of comfort and a little bit of uh, noise noise control. But most of these helmets just doesn't have that. They don't have that. And some of the helmets, like the lane splitter, it does have a little bit of, of all of that. And based off of uh, some of the comments on that, on that video, so some of the people that own lane splitters are still having noise and, and all this other stuff but like like I kind of responded to that to that viewer I told them you know what these helmets just they don't really have uh, all the uh, all the all of the functionality of, of some of those other helmets and that's just the trade-off kind of like kind of like uh, like like a bobber or a chopper compared to a uh, to a bagger or something else there's a trade-off mainly because of the style so looking back at that video now I'm thinking you know what maybe I was just a little bit too harsh on <laughs> on the helmet it's a great helmet I do like it I, I enjoy the overall style but a few things that I did get right in that video I do believe the uh, the lane splitter is a better deal uh, with this style of helmet I do own quite a few of these helmets like I said I own the uh, the Ghost Bandit, I own the Speed Bandit, I own the Lane Splitter, and I also own the uh, Gringo S, which technically they're, technically they're all about the same style, all of them. And then while I was kind of looking, the reason why I kind of br I'm bringing this up is uh, I was looking at the other brands. You have AVG, you have uh, Shoei, you have, uh, uh, what's the other one, Bell? And a lot of those guys, a lot of those helmets, they're over 600 bucks. Uh, I believe the uh, the Bell Bullet, that's about $400 or something like that. And then uh, the Shoei one, or the the other one, what's I, I can't pronounce the other one, Arai. The Arai version of, of this old school helmet, I believe that's like $800. So based off of what I saw and based off of that, I decided, you know what? I gotta, <laughs> I gotta revisit this this helmet review. So I haven't haven't had a chance to uh, ride with those helmets. I do have them in my cart. I'm thinking about buying them, but I already have like five helmets, <laughs> and then I have a three quarter helmet too. So I do have a lot of helmets. Uh, I'm still thinking about getting that uh, some of those other helmets. Maybe a, a AVG. I don't know. Maybe you guys can share your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of, of some of these helmets. Do you guys have one of those other helmets that I'm mentioning? Or how do you feel about it? Because like I said, based off of the Facebook group and what other people are, are just talking about, you are you are trading off a lot of comfort for uh, for this style of helmet. But like I said, they're they're good looking helmets. I like the the, the aggressive eyebrow design on this one. I really like these uh, this overall extended chin. I like it. It's it's my it's my type of style. I've had people that don't know about these helmets, and they think they're motocross helmets, and they ask, "Hey, is that street legal? The one that you have?" A lot of you know some folks they don't know about Simpson. They don't know about uh, these other brands. All right, so I just wanted to revisit the Speed Bandit helmet review. It's a great helmet. I do like it, but if you're on the fence and you're looking at a few different ones. Like I said, I'd go with the uh, lane splitter. If you always wanted a Simpson, then you know what? This is a great start. It's a great helmet uh, for the price, 300 bucks compared to the uh, to the Ghost Bandit. It's another great helmet. This one's a little bit smaller compared to the to the Ghost Bandit. So if you want to keep your your helmet 
or you're yeah I mean I'm just saying if you're like my size five seven sometimes it looks like we're <laughs> like like bobbleheads but yeah the ghost bandit is a lot bigger than this helmet uh, footprint wise overall size and everything the ghost bandit I mean the speed bandit is smaller and it does still look good I like the way it looks some some of you guys are wondering hey how, how come you hate that helmet so much <laughs> you still you still have it it's because I, I like the overall design I, I do like it and and uh, I'm willing to to compromise with noise and comfort just so I could look cool I guess <laughs> just like anything else because when you're cool the sun shine on you 24 hours a day all right so that's pretty much it you guys should stay out there stay safe don't believe everything you read Life's a risk. Get up and ride. Later.